it with music, beautiful music. Hello, I'm Fred Miller, and this is yet another one of my lectures in song. And before we launch into the, the story of Jerome Kern and Oscar Hammerstein's masterpiece, Showboat, a little information about me. I was born in Albuquerque, New Mexico, had a wonderful classical piano teacher. I was into Bach, Beethoven, and Brahms, and that included, uh, of course, the biographies of the composers and all the history of those times as well. And that went on until precisely on my 13th birthday, the Beatles arrived in America, and my musical taste suddenly expanded to include the great rock songs of the 60s, as well as classical music. Uh, that went on through high school until the summer after I graduated, and at that point, I, um, that summer after I graduated, I hitchhiked with a friend from New Mexico to the Woodstock Festival. I even managed to show up prominently in the poster there. I was due to go to college in the fall. I went very briefly and then decided to leave, got a VW bug, traveled all over the country, settled in Greenwich Village, and somebody at some point gave me an album of Ella Fitzgerald singing Cole Porter. Here I am. That is my musical odyssey. Uh, the world of American popular song, Gershwin Porter, Kern, Rogers, Berlin, Fred Astaire, Judy Garland, Ethel Merman, Frank Sinatra, Bing Crosby. That was going to be my musical life and has been. I came up with the idea of a lecture in song, each one being a profile of a great personality or some aspect of American popular song. I started with six programs, and now to date I have 75 different programs. The program at hand here is the only one devoted to a single work. I have programs that are devoted to a single songwriter, a single performer. I have, of course, all these many other themes, novelties and places and historical events, whatever. This is a single work, but it is a singular work and it stands alone. Uh, it is, of course, Jerome Kern, Oscar Hammerstein II's masterpiece, Showboat, based on a novel by Edna Ferber. There really are two eras, I think, in American musical theater history. There is before Showboat and there's after Showboat. I think there's only only comparable really point on the timeline is important maybe is uh, 17 years later, uh, 16 years later, 1943, uh, when Oscar Hammerstein II uh, collaborated with Richard Rodgers on Oklahoma. The goal, I think, all in both cases, really, there was this dream of an artistic dream of creating a fully integrated American musical play, a play with music, a play that somehow could stand alone and yet had music at the same time. Uh, Showboat is certainly more than a musical. I mean, this is the thing, we know the music. We could make believe I love you Only make believe that you love me why do I love you? Why do you love me? Why should there be two happy as we? Fish gotta swim, birds gotta fly. I gotta love one man till I die. Can't help loving that man of mine. Old man river, that old man river. He must know something. Don't say nothing. He just keeps rolling, keeps on rolling along. Showboat is way more than just a, a musical. It's a saga. It's an epic that happens to have music. It's the most daring attempt, I think, to date anyway, maybe the whole, all the, throughout the whole history. It's the most daring attempt to combine all the elements of theater, plot, character, music, serious themes. I mean, it's history all in one sort of piece. I'm going to try to give you sort of a background here. It's, there's a little bit of talking here involved. You really, this is the, we're talking about American history, and Showboat's history is American history. Let's face it, the very first, you know, the business of America, as Cal Coolidge said, was, is business. And right from the very start, these rivers all throughout America provided this opportunity to move products from here to there. People needed consumers, and there were producers. That's life. That's the natural course of things. There was the Missouri. There was the Allegheny, the Susquehanna, Monongahela. There was the Ohio. And above all, there was the Mississippi, which, of course, is one of the central sort of characters, really, of Showboat. Uh, the novel Showboat really opens uh, on a very stormy night, and a child is born on the river in Cairo, Illinois, which is this point where the river and all these three states meet. Kentucky, Illinois, and Missouri, K-I-M. The baby is named Kim. 
the baby is born. That is the very cent that's the very beginning of the novel and really the very end of the play. Almost the last word is, in fact, the, literally the last word is Kim as well. It's a story of an American life, of America itself. Well, if there are people who are working...